<laughs> it's not piping hot, but it's it's decent. It's like after you know you have some hot coffee and it's sitting there for a while and it cools down and then you can chug it. That's a, that's a good temperature. It's because I put. Remember, I did I did the steamed milk, but then I also put in like some regular milk that was already cold. Five Nights at Freddy's from 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the next movie reaction coming at you guys on the channel here today. This movie just dropped. At first, I thought it was just coming out in theaters to start, but it actually dropped on Peacock, the streaming service. So we're going to be checking Five Nights at Freddy's out here today. We are going to be postponing Child's Play 2 just for a week so that we can check this one out first. But Five Nights at Freddy's, do you know anything about it? As far as this movie itself or like the video game or anything related to it at all? I didn't even know there was a video game of this. I don't, well, I, I have no idea what it is like. So you're going in completely, completely blind. I, I never played the game itself, but I've seen gameplay of it. I know a little bit about it. I don't know a ton about it. So we're both going into this essentially blind. She's going into it completely blind. Both of us do know it is a horror movie. Regardless, I have not told her anything else about it. So this is about as blind as a movie reaction can get, man. Like I said, I do know little bits and pieces about it. I never was big into the games. I know they were huge a while ago. And then now, obviously, they came out with the movie. So I'm excited to actually see how this is received, too. Because we're checking this out on Friday, the day it drops. But we're here for it. We're excited for it. Not much else to say. So, guys, we're going to stop wasting time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this movie. Before we do, we do ask if you guys are new to channel. You do hit that subscribe button. Comment down below. You guys want to see next man. Drop a like on the video for us. Full reaction will be up on Patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff we're doing. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this movie. Also, as you can tell, your boy has switched to warm coffee instead of Red Bull or iced coffee. That's how you know it's getting to the cold season. The security camera's back there, oh shit. What's after him? Oh, fuck. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god, this is like some saw yeah. shit. Ah. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> the way he just slowly got so close Fuck. to him. Shit. <laughs> Literally like saw. Who put him on that chair? Can you kind of tell what it is yet? Based off any of this? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. That's probably the killer, huh? I used to have that exact same alarm clock. Me oh too. my god. So when are you gonna bring your sister by? We got this new flavor. Oh shit, he thinks he's Rainbow getting kidnapped. Explosion. I bet you'll go crazy for it. He's security, so he's a mall security guard. Hey! Hey! That's probably his dad. Oh. Fire. No, Maybe yeah, he did you're save right. him though, but what if he was like his parent? I don't know. It was probably his dad. His dad was probably just pissed because his kid probably walked off. What is your deal, Mike? What are you, some kind of head case? You beat up a man in broad daylight <laughs> in front of his child. It was his kid. I am just trying to figure out who you are, Mr. Michael. Sh you recognize the last name? Given your track record, your options are going to be extremely limited. I'll take anything, okay? Any any job no, you got. I have a job for you. <gasps> you know who that is. That looks like Shaggy. I'm a Scooby-Doo, the live action. Be your own boss, sort of. And you only have to worry about one thing, keeping people out. And, and you know, and keep the place tidy. That's two things. Mm. You want the job or not? Damn, it's going to be the job from the start, yeah. huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say that. <laughs> I can't do nights. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like night shift fucks like your internal clock up, but night shift, I think is the best shift you can take at any job. I've worked night shift at a couple of places and I've loved it more than any other shift. Granted, it does fuck the rest of your 
life up essentially. <laughs> what do we got? Okay. Well, that good looking guy I recognize. Who are all these other punks? Hi, friends. It's not done yet. Well, look, you can finish up after we eat, all right? Come get some food. I'm not hungry. You're sitting on my friend. You know what? I don't care. Do whatever you want. I feel like she's a little old for imaginary friends. Need that white noise. Can't sleep without a fan on. Even when it's cold as shit, I need that fan. Rain music is not rain music. <laughs> rain it's sounds. Rain sounds. Go grab a towel. Go watch your brother, okay? Okay. Oh Barry. no. Maybe his brother got kidnapped and that's why he was so adamant uh -huh. about the kid in the mall. That's tough. He probably blames himself, and I'm assuming his brother's still missing to this day. Maybe that's what the career counselor recognized his last name from, because it was probably a big case. Abby is not mentally ill. Oh, right. Mm. Perfectly normal to sit around drawing pictures all day and, and talking to magical creatures who do not exist. Listen. After what he did to that poor man. Mm. I just... <laughs> you seem like she's putting on a show. Doug. <laughs> Morphic said, oh shit, I am here. In your heart, you know that this is the right thing to do. I hope mm. that you will sign. And if I don't? Well, then my lawyer and I will have to take you to court where any judge with an ounce of sanity will see to it that you never see your sister again. So this isn't even his daughter, this is his sister. Images are the most important tool we have for understanding the world around us. What's real? What matters to us most, these are things children learn to communicate almost exclusively through pictures. Yeah, our pictures mean something. And who is at the center of nine out of ten of them? No judge in their right mind's ever gonna side with me. Did you find a job yet? Okay. Who's gonna take the night shift job? That would be a good place to start. Man, that's tough. You can tell he's trying, but he's got a lot of trauma built up too. He needs to go to some do some counseling. He obviously still Holds himself responsible for what happened to his brother. I hope they dive more into it too. Say if he's still missing, maybe if he was found dead or what. Uh, yeah, I was just calling to see if that job that you offered was uh was still available. Oh, it absolutely is. Why? Have you had a change of heart? How soon could I start? He knows nobody in their right mind is going to take that job, man. To be fair, like working at nights by yourself is creepy. I've had to do it a few times. Never mind a security job. This place was huge in the 80s with the kids. It's been shut down for years. The only reason they haven't given it the old wrecking ball treatment is the owner is a bit of a... Well, he's kind of a sentimental guy, I guess. He knows, like... Just can't bring himself to let it go yet. <laughs> the way he's talking, is he the owner? Floodlights on the outside, cameras inside and outside. Fair warning. The electricity is a bit... iffy. Huh? Iffy? You ain't just gonna throw that out there. Mm. Now, I not so scary. Know. Just keep your eyes on the monitors and, and keep people out. See, a job like this would be creepy as hell by yourself. If you had one other person, or even if you had a dog with you, right? Like, if I ever got a nighttime job like this, I'm bringing a dog. I feel like that dude knows like the other people like dying because I know that first that person at the beginning wasn't probably the first one. He for sure does. That's why but he like that's why he offered him this ah. job and he knew and that's why he's talking talking to him like that. And that's why he said I'll see you on the flip side, hopefully. The genius who created Fazbear Entertainment opened Freddy Fazbear's pizzeria to indulge in his two greatest passions. Family friendly fun and cutting edge animatronic technology. State of the art robotic engineering enables our characters to interact with guests in truly lifelike fashion. Let's introduce you to the stars of the show. Oh my god. <laughs> Adorable, aren't they? No. 
This makes me want to work night shift again for some reason. Like, this is creepy as hell, but this does make me miss working night shift. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, you got me. <laughs> that little thing. But they did it so close, it looked big. After watching this movie, we should play the game on stream. Is it like an arcade game? So it's like a horror game. Bro. Woo. Hello? <clears throat> what the fuck? <laughs> Are those customs? The like, things they were ta she was talking about on the video, they're like animatronics. Go watch your brother, okay? It's the same nightmare over and over again. Scared? What happened to his parents? Maybe they blamed him and kind of abandoned him, but this is his, oh. But that's his sister too that he's taking care of, so I don't know. Who are you? That car. Did you see that car? You see what happened? Did you see who took my brother? Wait, no. He's probably like, that never happened before. That was probably the first time that he ever had that part of his dream happen. How'd it go? Uh, this is interesting. <laughs> Should probably get out of here. His dream or thing. By the way, I, I do intend on, on paying you eventually. It's okay. My sister went over every inch of that dump a thousand times. If there was something to find, she would have found wow. it. Wow. Now pay up. So she was just doing it to get some shit on him. That's fucked. You told me what a nice kid my niece is and that my nephew sleeps a lot. He really does, though. Sleeping is not a crime. Why is the lawyer is breathing okay? heavy? <laughs> I just realized I shouldn't be hearing any of this. As a matter of fact, I shouldn't be here at all. Sit down, Doug. <laughs> Damn it, Doug. Grow some balls. His job is to make sure nobody gets in. Mm. So... We get in, and we mess up the place good. We help ourselves to whatever we find along the way. Your nephew gets canned. Judge gives you the kid, and you give us $2,000. Damn, bro, that's fucked. I thought Max was his friend. It'd be your own people. This job seems like, like fuck, I don't know, man. This really does make me want to work nights again. I miss working nights. Like, that shit sucks, but some people are built for it. Oh shit. You see that? Mm. Same thing again. Wait, like please. the next part of his please dream. Don't, don't, but he got the run. ears like one of the. Okay, I, I just want to know what you saw. Help me. Oh. He had like no face. Who took yeah. Garrett? Muffin's like, no, not again. Oh, you ran a different way this time too. This is the same way. Oh. Ah! Are they hunting his dreams? It's me. Okay. You saw that. Oh, oh shit. Uh, Playing games. But Why did the buzzer sound? Oh, that's the, um, that dude. Trying to get in. Mm -hmm. Oh, the police. police. You're pleading, by the way. Ooh. What? From his dream. That's nasty. Did no actually way. happen. Interesting. Is she a real cop? You seem to really know your way around the place. Well, Freddy's is on my beat. I like to stay well informed. Also, I really loved this place as a kid. Vanessa Shelley. Mike. Pleasure to meet you, Mike. Have you met them yet? Met who? She's not scared to be in there. Add to that the thing with those kids going missing. Oh, those okay. kids? What did you just say? Maybe those are the Prepare ones you see in the stream. Oh. That's that thing we saw. The hook. Oh.
That one is just straight creepy. The one on the left by itself. Like these ones look semi okay. Nah, it's creepy. Wanna dance? Oh. Move said no dancing. That one is creepy. The other ones are semi okay, I feel like, if they were cleaned up. Back in the 80s. What happened to them? It was big news. That's why the place shut down. Wow. Oh. You really didn't do your homework. Don't let this place get to you. Just do your job and you'll be fine. I feel like you're being very indirect. I'd be quick, but thorough. Maximum damage, minimum time. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Come on. Oh, oh, it was gone. The bear was gone. What the, the the one that was close was gone. Shit. They're pieced. They are pieced. But but I mean to be fair, this wouldn't even be his fault because this isn't even his shift. He's not even supposed to be here right now. So how like? Oh shit! I don't want to see. Ah! Oh, the duck. That's so funny. <gasps> oh, oh, oh! Well, has got weapons of mass destruction. What the, they eat them. Let's eat. Well, gave him that. Really you better get out of here, Squint. <laughs> Crazy. I see that, I'm out. I don't ask questions. I see somebody running, I'm running right with them. Come on, you stupid. Ah! Hey. Somebody now. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Ah! Ah! Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Are those things haunted? This place don't even need no security guard. These things protect this place. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, it's gonna send it through the vents. Motherfucker said we know you in there. Oh, is this the creepy that's ass that. one? What one is that? That's that creepy one that was by himself on. Oh, oh shit! This is the definition of fuck around and find Girl, out. What you doing in there? Oh my god! Just stick your face in there, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! No! Uh... This motherfucker just got bit in half! God! I'm traumatized! To be fair, all these people were doing some fucked up shit, so fuck them. Uh... Guess you don't want this thing. Hmm. Maybe she sees the missing kids. She like drawed them, I feel like. But that was way before he even started working there. Hey, Vanessa. Hey, Mike. And hello. Vanessa, this is Abby, Abby, Vanessa. Hi, Abby. Mike didn't tell me he had a daughter. Gross. No, uh, Abby's my sister. Uh, well, <laughs> he didn't tell me he had a sister either. Probably knows about what happened already. It's not what you think. Okay, those are sleeping pills. They help me sleep. I know what they are, Mike. It's written on the bottle. If you're too whacked out to remember to lock a friggin' door, accident or not, you're liable. Damn. It's called criminal negligence. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. Well, then help me. Tell him about your brother. Tell her about your brother. 
So I used to have a brother. His name was Garrett. <laughs> and when I was about 12, he was, uh, he was taken. And they never found the guy who did it, and they never found my brother. Wow. So there's this theory that uh, we can't forget things. Basically, it says that every single thing that you see your entire life, down to the tiniest of details, gets stored inside of you. That's his dream theory book. And I know that he's in here, but he's just, he's, it's buried. So every night I dream, and I go back to that same memory, and I, I search for details. Like every, every night we would sit down together, we'd have family dinner, and we'd hold hands and say grace. And... That actually sounds really nice. Yeah, at the time I thought it was really cheesy. Those good memories, man. You know, appreciate at the time. Give me your hand. Watch out. Uh, I'm scared for her. I feel like they're gonna be after her. Mm, made her a little fort, just like at home. Good night. Yeah, I wonder if the machines did eat the bodies completely, uh, or if the cops cleaned it up like her, because she seems to know some shit goes bump in the night here. But I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. And then with his dream, I think he's seeing them, the kids form of the killers <laughs> same fucking thing oh, the same one that funny. was in the locker oh no uh, hello you know you're back there might as well come out took my brother if we show you what will you give us anything i'll give you anything you want don't say that Bobby. boy eat that Stop tickling me. I said I was gonna die. You were screaming bloody murder. Mike, this is Bonnie, Foxy, and Chica. Everyone, this is Mike. This, this is a joke, right? I mean, they just want to play. <laughs> oh, they want to do more than that. You see that wink? Well, like said. Thank you for playing with me. Wait, okay, Abby, come on. Okay. I wish they were like that. I mean, like, she doesn't understand how fucking crazy that is because she's so young and stuff. But Mike, he's like, oh, thinks, my God. It's just going to want to come go back. Maybe they're waiting. Maybe they, they're like, give us your sister and we'll give you <laughs> the person who took your brother. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, because they took the kids back in the 80s. Mm, they are the kids from his dream. Yeah, maybe they were showing up in her dreams first, and then him when he started working there. Are they... Ghosts? Yeah. Of course. How else could they make the robot to move? Mm. So I think you are right. Now Each of those kids is a one of the robots. Now she's eating. Can you explain this to me? Mm, it's Garrett in the back of the car. You drew that, right? That's when Garrett got taken. Who told you about that? Was it a, a boy with blonde hair? Mm. Did that boy ever tell you anything about the man driving that car? No. All they talk about is a yellow rabbit. A yellow rabbit, none of because none of them are. There's no yellow rabbit, right? Just the uh, the chicken. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, they showed it at the beginning of the. I wonder if she was there as a kid when the kids got taken, because she said she used to love coming here back then. Guess you figured it out. Ghost children possessing giant robots. Thanks for the heads up. Guys, oh. we need help. 
I think we could use the tables for the fort. Everyone, follow me. That's so crazy. So if the kids possess them, because I figured maybe back in the 80s or whatever, the kids, these things maybe took the kids, but I guess those things are the kids themselves possessing them. So I wonder what happened to the kids back in the day. Maybe it was just a human who killed them or kidnapped them and they yeah. were here and that's why they possessed them. Well, maybe it was the yellow rabbit. Maybe it's the same one that took his brother, the same person. Mm -hmm. I used to keep him back here for big events. Right. And remind me how you know that? Creepy as doll. They're spring locks. They're on all the older models. They were designed to keep the animatronic parts in place so that a, a person could safely wear the suit. They tend to be pretty unstable. Mm. Let's see. Ooh. So the safe person could safely wear the suit. I wonder if Yellow Rabbit was like that and it was a person in the suit and he lured kids away. You need to drop this. I don't really see how that's any of your business. I'm telling you, you need to let it go. Who the hell are you? Someone who's trying to help. Damn, I want the backstory. Yeah. Abby? Oh shit. Like Abby, don't! Oh shit. She got electrocuted. I mean, she was able to touch them. Well, did she really touch them? She handed them papers and stuff. Maybe it's just specifically the guitar. You can do whatever you want with your own life, but if you ever bring Abby back here again, I will shoot you. You know she's gonna get taken. That's probably what they want, cause he never, mm -hmm. he never was able to figure out what he wanted in exchange for it. I promise you, this is not what you think it is. I hate you. Well, I think that went well. Oh, no. She reminds me of you, you know. Always with the temper. I mean, maybe she's just here to babysit for now while Mike goes and handles his shit. This is, this isn't how it happened. This isn't real. But it could be. Hmm. What is this? That's what you want. No. I just, I just want to find the man that- You're lying. You want to save Garrett. That's why you're really here. He's gone. They're all gone. Really? Why does his face go on and off? You said we could have anything we wanted? His sister. We want Abby. It's time to let her go, sweetheart. Damn, this is them fucking with him. We're never the right person to take care of her. So did no, they not have Abby at this point then? Maybe they had her after Garrett got kidnapped? No, what did you do? This is just a dream. It's... Like, they're gone. Your sister's literally... Ah, no. No, this is wrong. I, I, don't, I don't want this. this is... Yeah. Mm. I think that's all they wanted. Please, I don't want this! Wake Do you up! hear me? <laughs> I'm so scared. Stay away from my sister! Damn, they coming for him in the real world. Ooh. Oh, is he in the chair? Oh shit, same one. That's the head of the bear. Damn! Dude, don't get closer than that. Holy hell. That's why all these parts are back here too, huh? Oh, yep, that's her. Yep. So they just kind of hide the bodies, huh? Same door. I want to know who the yellow rabbit is. Oh, that one's the creepiest. Oh. Did he get out? No way he dies. No way they kill him off. Oh. How are they there? 
That's Good head afternoon. bitch too. That's the head dude. Freddy? Damn. Did they kill Jane? Not Freddy. They're all waiting for you. Yep, they killed her. Silly Aunt Jane. She fell asleep. Where to, little lady? What the? No way. Damn. <laughs> I'm not driving with that thing in my car. I'm getting out. You can keep the car. Oh. She patched him up. Maybe she isn't a real police officer. Ooh. Possessed robots murdering innocent people. They weren't innocent. Yeah, Abby is. Mike. You saw Abby playing with them. And you knew what they were capable of, and you didn't say anything. Mike, please, just... Abby is in danger. They want to make her like them. Show enough. Police searched Freddy's from top to bottom. Every inch was accounted for, and they never found them. He's a very bad man. Yellow rabbit? Very cruel man. He knew the parents would cry, and the police would come looking, and he knew there's one place they'd never think to check, because... <laughs> Why would they? Inside. Then why would anyone? He put the kids' bodies in them. It's not just their ghosts that are inside of those machines. Wow. Oh my God. It's their bodies. Damn. Kids, they don't want to hurt anyone. It's it's him. He influences them somehow. He took everything from them, but they don't remember. Who? Vanessa. The same one who took Garrett. His name is William Afton. Yellow Rabbit. He's my father. Damn. That's why she likes the place so much, huh? No. Did he, like, die inside of... How is it her death? Same oh, airplane. No way. You knew? No way. <laughs> this whole time. He's... My brother, you knew. Not about Garrett, no. Her dad took him, wow. So is she the one Too who keeps late. the place open then? Or is her dad still around? Mm. I mean, she said her dad's coming. There's a taser on your belt. When they're... It won't do permanent damage, but it'll mess with the animatronic circuitry. Hopefully buy you some time. You owe it to me and you owe it to them. No, I can't. If he's there, I... I won't be any use to you, believe me. Yeah, that's why she was hearing those screams before. They gonna look at him. Boy, so I'm bringing a whole ass EMP to this place. Smart. How long you got till they reset though? Chica. Oh, I that one's like for this. her. Wow. Oh my God. Leave her alone. You better take her and go. I've been stuck trying to fix the past, but you are the most important thing in the world to me. And I promise you I'm going to do better. Love you too, Mike. But we should probably go now. I mean, there's still Freddy and there's still Yellow Rabbit, right? And this little cupcake thing. <laughs> still hurt. I'm scared to see the Yellow Rabbit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Couple getting dragged. Bro, hide. Abby, go. Boy, got him. Oh no, not the ball pit. Abby! Mm. Oh, is this yellow rabbit? Damn, head bitch. So is he in the suit too? I think it's her dad, just like the kids are in the suits, right? But it looks like she's actually in there. Is that a dead body in there? The body's in all of them, she said.
But I think he's a. But, is he alive though? Because the kids are dead. Their dead bodies are in there. But I wonder if he's alive. He's got to be. Oh, she did come. It's okay. Foxy. Foxy, motherfucker, you see what they doing? You could just leave it alone. Yeah, he is in there. Lucky <laughs> me. This is perfect. First I killed your brother. Damn. Now I kill you. Symmetry, my friend. Who the hell? So his brother is in one of those suits too then? Drop the knife. <laughs> We're all for temper tantrums, are we, Vanessa? I'm not kidding, Dad. Yep. Oh. It's him. No the way. dude who... Yeah. Yeah. That's why he made that face when he read his last name. Oh, the hiring yeah. manager, yeah. dude. Yeah. Oh, my God. Wow. The way he was, like, describing everything, like, could have known. We both know you're not going to use a gun. Damn. He killed all those kids. The yellow rabbit. And he probably her friends, them. no? The drawings. The yellow rabbit hurt your friends. Show them what really happened. <laughs> Keep him in the dark and kill him if he got too close. That's two jobs. <laughs> Just like he told Mike at the start that there was one job and he was like, that's two jobs. Let go! Oh. I will let you hurt her too. Oh! oh. Fucked Why up in the head. So that, fucked dude. up in the head. You just changed the whole game. Reset the breaker. Um, yep. No. Now they're starting to remember, right? Because she said that they, they don't want to hurt anybody, but they just don't remember what happened to them. Move! Move! Uh, no. Look at the nasty things that you have become. Look how small you are, how worthless you are. You are wretched, blood little beast. Damn. <laughs> the suit killing him now. I always come back. They dragging him to the fucking shadow realm. Wow, whole place coming down too, finally. So I guess he was the one who was keeping this place open. And he was the one who said that too. The owner keeps it open for sentimental reasons. This is insane, man. I didn't think they were going to make it out of there. The turn she's taken these past few weeks. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. What was those kids that were... Healed trauma for everybody, for him too. Vanessa had to have gone to do some crazy shit too as a child to essentially be protecting her dad through all this. But you were there. For me and Abby, when it mattered the most. And I don't think that either of us would be here today if it weren't for you. And we'll be here when you wake up. Can we visit them sometime? No. That place should get wrecking balled. Oh, he's still alive, William. Yep. Look at him. They just torturing him slowly, huh? I, I have a feeling that his brother was the little cupcake. You think? Yeah. Because, I mean, he was the smallest one. I don't think he would fit in a cupcake, though. No, there was no right? body. I think that I think that thing was just... <laughs> I think that thing was just, like, kind of... Like, a special okay. thing in the movie, like a weapon or, or whatever you want to refer to it as. Like, a little okay. cool animatronic thing outside of the, okay. the actual um, animals. Maybe his brother I mean, was, was one of the animals, though. Uh-uh. Nope. Not today. <laughs> Sorry. Gonna be a machine. I said read the <laughs> <laughs> Oh my so god. Damn. <laughs>
Five Nights at Freddy's from 2023 is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Great fucking movie. Um, but no, to continue our thing, so the kids, she said the kids' bodies were actually inside of the inside of the suits but i think she meant the main suits so not like the cupcake or that little thing we just saw at the end here mm -hmm. so there was what four in total there was the there was the fox there was the blue one there was the bear and the duck and the duck so there was four in total maybe his brother was one of them because well we've seen them all in 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 his dream, dream. But, but there was, was one that had dark hair like his brother but didn't have a face right no, I think that one had red hair. Basically. So may maybe he did kidnap more kids outside of these ones and just killed them in general. You know, because these kids specifically, I think he had gotten while they were playing at this place, at this little, you know, amusement park for kids. Whereas um, his brother was taken from the campground. So maybe he also just outside of after he already had done those murders. He still continued to murder yeah. kids just to murder them and just got rid of their bodies or whatever it was. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe his brother was in one of them. Maybe not. But regardless, that is... I didn't expect it to be like this at all. Like, I've seen bits and... Like I said, I don't know, like, storyline, anything from the games. I don't I don't even think there is a storyline in the games. Like, it's just a horror game. Um, So I kind of knew what to expect suit-wise and, like, what the kind of... I just kind of knew what to expect from the animatronics, you know, but I didn't expect for the kids to be in the suits or anything like that. You went in completely blind, blind, though. So did you expect it to be like this, to be the, like, robots, the suits doing this shit and all of that? Like, this shit was, this was completely different. It's cool how they turned it into something like this because the game is pretty much, I mean, like, I again, I don't know if there's, like, more story to it or what, but from the little bits and pieces I've seen over the years, it's kind of just like a horror game. You know, there's not really much story to it like this, so I don't think, like, Vanessa or her dad or anything like that is involved in the game. I think they all kind of added that for movie storyline purposes, but it was a good twist, you know? Because yeah. you remember at the start, the dude, um, William, right? He was the hiring manager, and when he saw um mike's last name he kind of paused he couldn't even say it yeah he was like he, he was like super surprised and at first i was like okay well maybe his like brother going missing was a huge thing back then and everyone knew about it maybe he saw the name and felt sorry for him or like kind of understood why he was going through what he was going through but it was because it clicked and he was like damn i kidnapped this motherfucker's brother before i'm gonna send him to this place to work because he didn't offer him that job until after he read his last name yeah he said that was pretty much like the only job he had for him mm -hmm. which nice yep. and it makes yeah. sense too because it's like why would well i guess it still does make sense because he wanted to keep people out of there because if those bodies really were in the suits and you know some crackheads came and there were people poking around and stuff they might have ended up finding them so i guess it makes sense that's why he had an actual security guard there at night working to keep people out because he didn't want people to find the bodies but his daughter knew about them the entire time and it's mm -hmm. kind of crazy because this happened when she was a kid mm -hmm. and she grew up to become a police officer and still was protecting her dad and yep. it just goes to show you like how bad you can get fucked up from trauma when you're young because all that shit happened when she was younger then she grew up became a police officer and she was still protecting her dad from doing all of this shit which is just absolutely insane you know but it was a good storyline. I didn't expect it to go like this. I didn't expect the twists we had in it and everything. Um, Horror-wise, it was different. Like, completely different than any other horror movie we've watched, I feel like. You know? Like, obviously, we recently watched Sinister. We watched Child's Play and stuff. And it's just so different. But it's good. I really enjoyed it. I would probably give this, like, an 8... No, I really like seven and a half to 8 out of 10 for me. I give it a nine and a half. Nine and a half? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, like the story was I loved the story. And the ending was like a good ending, which I you don't I don't know. I just scary movies I've always hated the ending and this one I loved it. Yeah, I mean I so guess so much. So yeah. I guess for like horror movies yeah. sometimes they do end kinda on a sour note, like, like sinister. Everything like got them um resolved yeah like he he knew like who um kidnapped his brother and everything and like the person that did all that got what he deserved mm -hmm. pretty much so yeah 
it, it, it was good. Like Sinister, that ended pretty like fucked up and sad the way it ended. <laughs> you know what I mean? But this, it, it did have good. a, a about as good. happy of an ending as you could have. You know, he ended up taking care of his sister and getting to have her stay with him. But mm. I mean, his aunt did die too, which I mean, that kind of resolved that oh. problem in and of itself <laughs> as well. So you could say that was a good thing, I guess, but i don't know yeah. fantastic stuff it was definitely like a twist i guess for him it was crazy because like she had like been seeing them way before like i wonder like how long and why and why did they like want her like did they want her before he even started working there or after he started working no because the kids like boring her dreams showing her well, maybe she was just kind of like she kind of had like a little bit again because like so she wasn't like in his memory. So because that's his sister. So I wonder if they had her after her brother was kidnapped because she he, she was never in the his dream when they were camping. Unless maybe mm -hmm. she was just like off screen sleeping as like a baby or something like that. I don't think she was. No, I don't think so. She's super young. Like maybe they had her like after his brother was taken yeah that's what i'm thinking I'm too because he was really young back then too and now he's older so that, yeah i guess it yeah. would line up probably after but maybe she just heard about it from her parents or something or over, people over talk or, or people talking about it and you know that was her kind of connection to it because obviously the guy who took her brother was the same one who took those kids and killed them too mm -hmm. so and, and she was like and seeing you know like imaginary friends and stuff like after, that um yeah so they ended up being like real and actually them who i don't know that's the only part i don't understand but yeah i i, I mean i guess you could say it was just like kind of movie logic too sometimes that's just what it is you know like it can they were conveniently I mean, you know with they her had the machine like for her too well i i don't know and if it was specifically it. for her or if it was just for another kid you know what I mean? Because if he kidnaps kids and stuff it. like that. I mean, they wanted her, but also they had like been like hunting her, like in her dreams and stuff. Like even before he started working there. Yeah. And then he started working here, there. And maybe they wanted like him to say yes or that's how they like were able to take her. Well, yeah, they did. They, well, that's the thing. Like ultimately william the yellow rabbit was controlling them because that entire time he had control over them until she ripped the picture down and showed them what really happened because vanessa was like they they, they don't want to hurt people but they just don't remember what happened to them so mm -hmm. the whole time it was always william or the yellow rabbit controlling them and i want so i wonder like i, I don't remember specifically when she started having the dreams because maybe she started having them the second that um william mm -hmm. knew who mike was you know what I mean? Because oh, yeah. that happened okay. really early on. So maybe once he knew who Mike was and found out she, yeah, he had yeah, a little that's sister. When she, that's when she actually started. Oh, okay, so maybe okay, that, that was it. Because yeah. he was the one who was controlling them the whole time. But yeah. regardless, it was a good yeah. thing. It was a good movie. I didn't expect it to go like that. I was kind of curious as to how they were going to turn this into a horror movie. Because I didn't know you know, what the storyline was in the game or anything. I always thought it was just kind of like a horror game that you just do it and you kind of restart as you die. But maybe we'll end up having to check it out on stream or something. But guys, fantastic stuff. Let us know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, also, if you guys enjoyed this reaction video, make sure to leave a like. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on Patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff we're doing. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. We hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next one. What is going on, guys? I hope you all did enjoy that video you just checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is something you guys want to see me react to next on the channel? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Alexander Collins, and the homie Christopher Larimer. Your guys' support is much appreciated. If you guys haven't already and you do want to join the Patreon family, the link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below. You get early access to a bunch of videos up to two, sometimes even three weeks in advance, full length reactions, and you get to participate in polls to help decide what we do and what we react to on the channel. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.